ammo. Okay. <laughs> Noom. the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we... It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was going to be voiced or not. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you, Igor. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. <laughs> and a good thing he can speak for himself. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Go through. Type it out manually. Wow, oh, that just barely fits. <laughs> This time I'm actually using a quote unquote canon name. <laughs> yeah, it's very cushy. I get an actual, like, cushy velvet room this time around. Hmm, I see. Now. Let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? I believe it's kind of cool. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents a hesitation and Mystery. Very interesting indeed. Well, I mean, spoilers, this game is a murder mystery. <laughs> it, would, it would be odd if there wasn't some sort of mystery ahead. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. <laughs> My dad's contribution is, why can't something nice ever be imminent? In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, 
after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Hint, 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 there, hint, hint, this is how you uh, get the bad endings. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. <laughs> yeah, imminent birthday cake would be much more fun. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. Hi, Margaret. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is... <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station, please go to the other side of the platform. <clears throat> the scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should Mayumi we go Yama. soon? Yes, yeah, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Hey, over here. Can you tell this used to be a PS2 game? <laughs> well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Hi, Uncle Dojima. A long time. I'll say you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> what are you so shy for? God, this is uh, this is suddenly bringing me back. One year, I went to a convention um, and went to a persona photo shoot where uh, someone was dressed up as Dojima and his daughter, who was like, I don't know, very young, very young kid, was dressed up as Nanako, and she was also very shy. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> She didn't slap her dad, though. Not that I recall. <laughs> well then, let's get going. Isn't it? It was, it was like the highlight of that photo shoot. Everybody thought it was the cutest thing. My car's over there. Oh, hello there. Hey. You drop this. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. The note you made for yourself was Dojima's ad address. What's wrong? I got in the car and headed for Dojima. Very friendly girl, was she? You know about the Central Shopping District? Yes, they. Hi, welcome to Mall. Certainly. Don't tell me that it's glitched out. <laughs> oh, great. Don't tell me it's glitched out. <laughs> oh, dear. I've had problems with this before. I was hoping that it wouldn't uh, cause issues, but... Ugh. I might have to, uh, I might have to pause the stream and deal with this for, and deal with this real quick. Ugh, sorry about this. I'll be back in a few moments, I think. 